Um, hey guys, um, we got notified about 15 minutes ago that the um, state vet, uh, chief state vet, uh, Nick Smith, has decided that he didn't feel comfortable enough with uh, how Forte jogged today. Um, on Wednesday, um, he definitely developed um, whether he stepped on a rock, whether he missed a step at the track, just a very minor bruise. Um, Todd and his staff, Todd is the greatest and best trainer out there, um, you know, cooperated with the states, notified them immediately, um, they checked them out. Um, we did x-rays, clean, um, we did what they call a hoof test, learn more about this soon, I can read that. Um, and found the tender spot in one of the spots. Um, the entire staff here from Amelia Brady to you know, Isabel to uh, Hector as exercise rider. And both uh, the Brooms, Martini, and Velasquez worked on him day and night. Um, he had improvement every single day, including today. Um, you know, um, you try to be as transparent about the sport as you can. There were rumors out there about the issue. It was a bruise. This race was on Tuesday. I think you'd be one. This race was next Saturday. I think you'd be one. But unfortunately, as I've said before, and some of these toughest things is, you can only be a three-year-old colt on the first Saturday in May one time. And whether you develop a fever or you bruise your foot, um, I will say that we had three of the best events looking up. Bramwich, uh, the extras, five. Uh, I was on the phone with both Todd and I. Uh, Dr. Alden. Dr. Alden, that's where they said, he'll be fine, Mike, he's going to run. And Dr. Johnson, um, he also left me yesterday, says he'll be fine. Um, I think the vets are being overly cautious. Um, and I understand that. The safety of the horse is the most important thing. I'm more concerned about the systems that we have um, than scratching this horse under these bright lights. Um, you know, I am um, uh, sad, devastated. I'm devastated uh, for Todd Fletcher. Devastated for Todd Fletcher's barn. Devastated about uh, my friends and family back at the hotel. I need to tell that we have to scratch the Derby favorite. Um, it's almost deja vu all over again. And um, we did everything we can. We're trying to work within the system. We work within the system. Total transparency. And honestly, um, you know, I'm shocked because, you know, our, a bruise can be 24 hours or a bruise can be 72 hours or 96 hours. It could be a week. And, um, you know, the reason why we galloped him today, when we probably didn't have to, by the way, um, was because Todd wants to make sure everything was right. Put a new shoe on him today. Many people would have never done it today, but we did. Um, Hector went out there, galloped him today, other than being distracted, other than being distracted um, um, by the inside turf. That was happening. Uh, he gallops great. If you guys watched him gallop, he gallops great. Um, he came off. They said he was off a tick. Um, you know, it's subjective, man. It was not. It was not like an obvious. You know, I mean, I don't know much about this, but it seemed fine to me. I walk a lot worse than him. Um, and um, you know, it's a big stage. It's uh, everyone's looking at this race. We haven't had the best week here. Um, I think they were overly cautious, but I have to understand and respect the fact that they're overly cautious. And, uh, you know, I just would like to be more consistent with the process of how we do things, Kentucky versus New York versus everyone, and the different rules and regulations and different medications different vets and it's it just really makes it this horse might have not run in five states today and he might have run in six states today and there are certain medications you could use in this state that you can't use in another state so you always have to be on top so when you 
you see some of these vets, I mean, some of these trainers, you know, you know, there's 1% cheaters in this game, okay? And those cheaters have to be stopped. But then there's 99% of these trainers that care more about these horses than anybody will ever know. And the work is here that care more about these horses than anybody would know. And the last thing they would want to do is have their horse injured. But it's very inconsistent about certain overages and how close it is and different rules. If we were in Indianapolis, Indiana, we could do this. If we're in Florida, we could do this. This is seven days out. This is 21 days out. This is banned. This is not. And there's no consistency whatsoever. And, um, you know, you know, this five horses as of today scratched in this race. Um, and I'm telling you that five years ago, there might have been none. And five years ago, they all would have went around and, and, and they'd been fine. But, you know, um, I like that we're taking extra precaution on all four. Um, hurt for Todd and his staff both my racing stable team and I'm going to be a lot more devastated than me today actually I'm going to be more devastated for them um, than myself but um, 